These black charcoal looking remains may seem like trash, but they contain hidden verses from the Bible. When we reach the debris where, the, where we are looking for uh, artifacts from the Holy Ark, we worked very uh, carefully with uh, paint brushes and so on. Archaeologist Dr. Sefi Parath found the scroll while digging in a synagogue. We found something harder than the soft earth and a long, thick cigar was observed for us. Archaeologists found the fragment in 1970 in Engedi, and it took 45 years for a unique combination of technologies to decipher it, called micro CT scanning and virtual unwrapping. The actual instrument that uh, was used to scan the scroll uh, is at the Bar Ilan University and is used for nanotechnology in order to do brain imaging and other imaging that is used for brain research. Even with this technology, David Merkel and his team couldn't read the writing. We had to pass over those images to the University of Kentucky, to Brent Seals of the Department of uh, uh, Computer Science there, and they were able to do virtual unwrapping of the scroll. It's actually kind of opening it up, and then they saw the writing within the scroll. The significance of this find is that it is a Bible from 1,500 years ago. Panina Shaw heads the Dead Sea Scrolls project of the Israel Antiquities Authority. She says it's the first copy of the Bible found between the 2,000-year-old Dead Sea Scrolls and the 10th century A.D. Aleppo Codex. And as such, it is very, very important because now we have it right in the middle. And to compare, you know, the, this version of the Bible with, on the one hand, the material from Second Temple times and the Aleppo Codex, which serves, you know, as the sample to copy from. So far, they've been able to read the first eight verses of Leviticus, which talks about sacrifices to God. What's most exciting is that we're using the best possible technologies to help us decipher a work on antiquities, on, you know, the oldest material possible. And this is just the beginning. What well, is also the possibility to apply the same technology to many hundreds of other artifacts that are lying in the vaults of the Israeli Antiquity Authority without anyone knowing what they might contain. Kind of a 21st century uh, a can opener, right?